Hey, this is Joe, going over how to take advantage of the best of both worlds by using an Adobe Captivate simulation in an Articulate Presenter project. I'm currently working on a project where it's going to be a character going through a branching scenario, and then we're going to transition into a software simulation that I developed in Captivate. So let me start out by showing you a quick preview, and you may have seen part of this in, in a screener I posted last week about this zoom in effect. So let me press play here and show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to zoom into the computer screen, and then once it gets to the computer screen, we're going to transition into the Captivate simulation. As you can see, I have the Captivate simulation embedded here, and everything looks pretty smooth. So uh, let's go over how to set this up. So first, uh, let me jump into Captivate. You want to pay attention to what you have your published settings set to. Uh, the most important one I found is the screen resolution. For it to work best with Articulate, it's best to set it to 720 by 540. If you go bigger, it's going to be too big for the slide. If you go smaller, it's going to be a little bit too small. 720 by 540 seems to be the, the magic number. Um, you also want to make sure you have your frames per second set to 30, because uh, that is also what works best with Articulate. So once you have that set to 720 by 540 and, and 30 frames per second, you're ready to publish. So I've already published this, so I'll, already, I'll go ahead and jump over to the uh, Articulate project. So you can see here in slide one, this is my, my zoom in scene. So after it finishes this zoom in, I want to transition to slide two, which will be the, the Flash movie, uh, the Captivate simulation. So I'm here on the Articulate tab, and to insert the Captivate movie, I click the Flash movie option. And you're looking for just the .swift file. You don't want the, the skin file. Uh, the skin file is the one that includes the toolbar, and I just want just the, the simulation with no toolbar. So I'm going to select Moodle Demo um, and leave the setting set as default. You'll leave it uh, to display and slide unless you want it, one of the other options. Um, I like it to advance after the movie finishes and synchronize slide and movie together. So I've got these options just how I want them and I'll go ahead and click OK. And now my Captivate movie is embedded in, in the Articulate project. You can't even see it here, uh, but it is there as we saw in the, uh, the published version. So that's all you need to do to embed Captivate in here. And once I've got this together, you can publish it as usual. And uh, the, the finished project will look a little something like this. And that's it. So the, the important keys are to publish your Captivate movie at 720 by 540. And then when you insert the Flash movie, you want just the .swift file, not, not the skin and everything else is gravy. I hope this helps uh, somebody else who's trying to use both programs together and let me know if you have any questions or any ways to improve upon this.